Hello and welcome to Locofy. In this video, we'll see the cool new features that have been introduced in the latest app update 2.10. Let's get started. First of all, make sure you're connected to the internet. So I'm connected to Wi-Fi through my home network or work network. And we go to Play Store. Type in Locofy in the search bar. Click on the app. Now I have already installed the app so if there was an update available it would say update the app and just hit the update and it will update automatically. You go back, uh, I'll just switch the network to my dedicated Locofi network and uh, that's where my uh, locomotives are connected. and. Uh, let's and i've already installed and updated the app so let's launch the app so as you can see uh, first thing we see is the splash screen where you enter the engineer screen name uh, we have added a new option the checkbox right there uh, which will let you skip the screen the next time you log in and this is uh, because uh, for most of the cases only one user would be using one smart device to control their trains and they didn't they don't need to uh, log in with a different name again and again so we'll uncheck this box and say okay let the loco refresh on the list you can see we'll just go back exit the app and this time when we launch the app again you will see that it script it skips the splash screen so so that's one of the features uh, that has been implemented now i have one of the loco which has been updated with the latest firmware and another which needs to be updated so i'm gonna show you both so let's just hit manage these two locomotives you can see this locomotive does not have its firmware updated yet while this one does have so to update the firmware just hit the update firmware say okay it's good it's gonna take a while and there you go So let's see what do we get with this new firmware. So just release and manage again. Uh, before we go there, uh, I want to show you one more uh, small thing small feature that we added is in the add loco so just say allow whenever it asks for the device location permission and there used to be a refresh button right here now we have implemented a pull down refresh on this screen as well and overall you will see a more consistent look and feel in the app so let's go back to what we are doing which is managing this loco and you can see uh, the update firmware button is gone now now what do we have here one of the cool features we introduced here on the new dashboard is the sounds so now we have some cab sounds uh, we still don't uh, play the locomotive sound on the cab but you, you can hear the clicks and the toggles of the switches let's see that Let's start up the engine.
as you can hear the notching sounds and you can really see or feel it but there is also a vibration effect that you get for each notch and that's what we introduced in this app update as haptic controls and that's another uh, cool feature that we introduced so unless you want to look at the speedometer you don't really need to look at the screen when you're notching up and down you just you know, just keep your thumb here and you can feel and hear the sounds and you can see what notch you are at uh, another cool feature that we added was now we can configure the locomotive we're just starting out with this we'll be adding more and more features as we go along but we are just starting out with auto reversing lights now if you enable this boom you're done go back and now the auto reversing lights is enabled so you can't really switch on the rear light now unless you click the reverse and the rear light would be on now and similarly so you don't have to worry about switching on the appropriate lights but if you want more prototypical operation you can keep that setting off and you get the control again whatever you want and so forth so that's another uh, new feature that we uh, introduced and you can see the the color next to the locomotive name uh, it used to be I think below the locomotive name now we have more real estate now that we have put the color next to the locomotive name and uh, now let's just go back and see something else which is the settings that's another cool feature that we added and that's the settings of the app itself let's go and see what we have here so we are starting out with three features here one is the feature that we saw which was to skip the splash screen so if you want to see the splash screen again how do you get it you go to settings and enable this feature and you just toggle it on and you will get the splash screen again at login startup and there is two more preferences that we have added if you want to switch off the cab sound for whatever reason it may be annoying you want to run your trains you know like quietly or you don't want to hear the sounds and you can also disable the vibration control uh, on the throttle so these are some of the three preferences that we have added and lots more to come and lots more to come in the config panel of the locomotive where you will be able to do tons of things we just added this page just to make sure that we can now start adding uh, different uh, configuration settings stay tuned and uh, soon we will be having a lot more features thank you